Hi everyone, my name is Mike Mellenberger, associate and owner at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. Today we're in St. Cloud, Florida. We're about 20 minutes away from Lake Nona, about 40 minutes away from the Orlando International Airport, 45 minutes away from downtown Orlando or Disney World. We're gonna show you this home behind us by Trinity Family Builders. It is a four bedroom, two bathroom home with 2,008 square feet of living. The base price at the time of filming is gonna be $427,999. Now, so the base price does not include lot premiums or upgrades, so keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and take a look at this house so as we come up we have a two-car garage currently this is a model home so they're currently using it as an office so keep that in mind that you typically have a garage door right there we have a walkway coming in to a covered patio and this builder has done something a little bit different than some of the other builders because of this new age that we're in they have this really cool storage area with a lock on it and if you have deliveries from amazon or ups they can open that up they can throw all your deliveries right in here then they hit this little button that says lock they close it and all your packages are now safely secured behind this locked door. So the door in front of us is an upgrade. We have this really beautiful accent glass on there to give you an example of some of the upgrades. But let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. Welcome into this home. So as I close the door behind me, the first thing I notice is when I look at the floors, we have upgraded tile throughout. Typically this will be carpet. It's an example of one of the upgrades that the builder has in the model home. Also to my right, you see this accent wall of woodworking and wallpaper. That's an interior design upgrade. So you can do that after the fact. It's something that the builder actually doesn't do, but they make their model homes look nice. So over to our left, we're gonna go ahead and go this direction and show you a couple of bedrooms. So on the front of the house is bedroom number two. They have this set up with the propellers on the wall. So it's definitely uh, aviation themed, really cool accent wall on the back. They did put in four extra light fixtures, which is something I do recommend if you want extra light in your bedroom. They're really not that bad of a cost as an upgrade. And then we have the closet. So the closet, you have your normal size closet. So follow me this direction and we'll go over to our left. To the left is, bed is the bathroom. So there's only two bathrooms bathrooms here. So this one does have the brown cabinets, the solid service countertops, the dual sinks, mirror and light fixture. And what's really neat is they have a door. So if you do use this with two different people, you have a door right here that sets you off privately with the toilet and our tub. This one does have the subway tile going all the way up to the ceiling. The reason I say that is that there is actually three bedrooms that share this bathroom. There's only two bathrooms in here, which is this one and the one in the primary suite. So do keep that in mind. Uh, through here is a linen closet. So you do have plenty of space for all your linens and towels. And then we go to bedroom number three. This is all set up for baseball. We got the chain link fence over there, the slugger bats on the wall. Really cool, it's like pink and turquoise design going throughout. A uh, window on the far side and on the other side, we have our closet. All right, so follow me this direction. I'll show you where bedroom number four is. So as we come through here and we go down the hallway, um, it's a nice long hallway going all the way to the back of the home. This door goes to the air handler and to our left is bedroom number four. So as I go into bedroom number four, you'll see we have a window looking out to the side yard and the bed. Now with this one here, um, if you had the four bedrooms, just remember you only had that one bathroom. If this was a guest room or if everyone's okay with sharing a bathroom, then that's absolutely fine. Or you could use this as an office if you wanted to. So if you did want that th third uh, bathroom, let me know. I can definitely send you other designs that are like four bedrooms, three bathrooms. A uh, closet behind me. So you have all the space there for your clothes. So follow me this direction. We'll go to the main living area of the house. Typically where we like to start, but this one had all the bedrooms in the front. So here we have our really spacious area with the family room, dining room, and kitchen. So the family room, nice high space, we have the sectional couch, accent wall with the TV, light fixture coming down from the center. On the back of the home, sliding glass doors going out to a covered patio. And then to the right is gonna be the dining room. We have Bonnie here. I've known Bonnie for quite a few years. She's the preferred lender for this builder. So typically it's always better to go with the preferred lenders for each of the builders because they give you really good incentives. So she'd be the one to help you if you are looking to buy one of their homes. Behind her is a window. Now, you do have an option to put a den back there that matches where the uh, patio is. So if you needed an extra space, it's about an extra 100 square feet that you can put back there. And then the window would be on the side wall. So next thing would be the kitchen. The kitchen's got the nice center island. And it's got seating for three, three light fixtures. I love the color of the countertop with the whites, with like the navy blue go swirls going through it. Absolutely beautiful. And then as we go over onto the other side and show you what we have on the other side of the center island, dishwasher, really nice sink. And then on the opposite side, we have the nice dark brown cabinets, the same countertops, backsplash going all the way around, range microwave. 
And these are KitchenAid appliances. So KitchenAid is usually really high-end uh, appliances going all the way through in our side-by-side -side refrigerator with the freezer below us. So let's go ahead and go down this hallway. To the right is gonna be a laundry room, which is a nice size laundry room. Space for your washer, space for your dryer, built-in cabinets, which would be an upgrade. And then we have the shelf and cabinets on the other side, also an upgrade. Um, through this door is gonna to go to the two car garage. It's currently being used as an office, so we can't really go in there and show you. And then through this door is a nice size pantry for a 2008 square foot house. This is a good size pantry. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. I've seen 5,000 square foot houses with smaller pantries in this. So let's go ahead and go the other way. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you're thinking about buying a home anywhere in Florida, make sure you give us a call. Again, my name is Mike. My phone number is 407 487 3030. All right, primary bedroom next. So, as we come into the primary bedroom, king size bed and table on your side, window looking out to the backyard, very spacious area. And to our left, it's going to be a door. Going into the primary bathroom, we have our dual sinks, nice cabinets, solid surface countertop, mirror, light fixture. Behind us is a door going into the closet, nice size closet. I would always recommend taking out the wire rack, put in a nice custom closet. You can easily do that and double the space in your closet as far as your storage for clothes. And then we go down this hallway, window looking out to the side yard. Over to the right, it's gonna be a shower and they did do an upgrade here. Typically you have the chrome frame around. This is the frameless shower, which also means the glass is a lot thicker. So this is typically a two to $3,000 upgrade. Depends on the builder. I would have to get the exact pricing if you were interested in uh, building with them to verify everything. We had the porcelain tile on the floor and also porcelain tile going all the way up to the ceiling with two shower heads. Over to the left is gonna be a door and the door goes into the water closet. So nice and private back there. So that's the end of this tour. I wanna to thank you all for watching. Of course, if you want more information about this home, or if you think about moving to Florida and just wanna tell us like what sort of budget you have, bedrooms, bathrooms, where you wanna be in the state of Florida, I'll be more than happy to send you over exactly what you're looking for and help you with your home search. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, take care, bye-bye.